Using the Clinical Data Repository to Meet Meaningful Use The CDR connects disparate EHR platforms and aggregates clinical information in one easily accessible location. By providing access to clinical information from outside the enterprise, the CDR helps the care team gain a more comprehensive understanding of the patient's medical history. This enables clinicians to achieve better results for their patients and improve overall community health. The CDR is currently available to providers who are contracted with managed care organizations serving Apple Health customers. Going forward, this will be available to all providers through a clinical portal. At the end of this presentation, we will provide a link to our newsletter. Please subscribe for future updates on the CDR and the clinical portal. Objective 2, Clinical Decision Support. In order for eligible providers to meet the objective, they must satisfy both of the following measures. Measure 1. EPs must attest yes to implementing five clinical decision support interventions related to four or more clinical quality measures at a relevant point in patient care for the entire EHR reporting period. Measure 2. EPs must attest yes to enabling and implementing the functionality for drug-to-drug -drug and drug allergy interaction checks for the entire EHR reporting period. Exclusion: Any EP who writes fewer than 100 medication orders during the EHR reporting period. Link for Health CDR Linkage Querying from the CDR can provide real-time feedback on previously completed clinical decision support interventions. Data within the CDR can be used as one of the sources for decision making. Opportunity. Make information available across care settings to authorize providers with or without EHRs. Helpful hints. Do not use a zero in the denominator to exclude. You may only use the exclusion buttons. Do not choose exclude and choose no on compliance for the same measure or it will cause an error. This is the screen you will see in EMIP under the Meaningful Use tab for Objective 2. More helpful hints. Measure 1. Must answer yes or no. There is no exclusion available. Measure 2. Must answer yes, no, or exclude. If excluding, the number of orders you enter must be less than 100. Objective 5. Health Information Exchange. Exclusion. Any EP who transfers a patient to another setting or refers a patient to another provider less than 100 times during the EHR reporting period. Compliance. The EP who transitions their patient to another care setting or provider or refers their patient to another provider provides a summary care record for each transition of care or referral. CDR linkage. Contributing CCDA from Certified EHR to Link for Health CDR adds to an integrated Medicaid patient record and makes information available to authorized providers using different EHR systems or through the portal hosted by One Health for, it for organizations without EHRs. Opportunity. Participation in the CDR fully meets this objective and overcomes the interoperability challenges across various EHR products in meeting this measure reduces point-to-point -point interfaces between organizations, makes information available across care settings to authorize providers with or without EHRs, can easily exceed the threshold of 10% of the transition of care, leveraging existing authorities. Requirement in the MCO contract reads as follows. The contractor, MCO, shall require that when subcontracted provider organizations with certified EHRs see an Apple Health Managed Care Enrollee, the provider sends a care summary, CCDA, from the provider's EHR to the Link for Health Clinical Data Repository. For more tips, please see the CMS tip sheet. This is the screen you will see in EMIP under the Meaningful Use tab for Objective 5. Helpful hints. If you exclude, you have to enter a number less than 100. Under compliance, enter a numerator, denominator, and if the information was extracted by your EHR. Objective 7, Medication Reconciliation. The EP performs medication reconciliation for more than 50% of transitions of care in which the patient is transitioned into the care of the EP. 
exclusion. Any EP who was not the recipient of any transitions of care during the EHR reporting period. Compliance. The EP who receives a patient from another setting of care or provider of care or believes an encounter is relevant performs medication reconciliation. CDR linkage. Querying the CDR, provider is able to view expanded list of current medications that includes external list of medications from other providers and hospital EHR systems. Providers can determine which prescriptions have been filled because Medicaid claims data is included. Opportunity. Participation through query and response capabilities in the CDR fully meets this objective as it integrates medication data from multiple provider EHR systems to provide a comprehensive list of current medications. Claims data provided by Medicaid confirms if a prescription is filled. If query process is automated, provider organization can ensure they meet the threshold of over 50%. HCA can validate measure through HIE reporting. For more tips, please view the CMS tip sheet. This is the screen you will see in EMIP under the Meaningful Use tab for Objective 7. Helpful hint. Under Compliance, enter a numerator, denominator, and if the information was extracted by your EHR. Objective 10, Public Health Reporting. There are three measures with exclusions, one for each type of registry. EPs must minimally complete two non-excluded measures through active engagement compliance. An EP may provide up to two specialized registries for Measure 3, which will be counted toward the total number of non-excluded measures necessary to meet the minimum criteria. Hospitals must meet four measures, and EPs must meet two. Measure Option 1, Immunization Registry Reporting. The EP is an active engagement with a public health agency to submit immunization data. The immunization registry should still be the highest priority to meet this objective. Other providers who administer vaccines can still participate in the measure and will be onboarded by DOH as resources permit. Measure option two, syndromic surveillance reporting. The EP is an active engagement with a public health agency to submit syndromic surveillance data. Non-urgent care syndromic surveillance. Measure option three, specialized registry reporting. The EP is an active engagement to submit data to a specialized registry. PMP or PRP. Measure option three, public health registry reporting, also known as specialized registry reporting. The EP is an active engagement to submit data to a specialized registry. Cancer case reporting, measure option three, Public Health Registry Reporting, also known as Specialized Registry Reporting. The EP is an active engagement to submit data to a specialized registry. ECR, Measure Option 3, Public Health Registry Reporting, also known as Specialized Registry Reporting. The EP is an active engagement to submit data to a specialized registry, ECR, as of 1118. CDR Linkage. The steps for active engagement align with the process for preparing, testing, and submitting CCDA data to the Clinical Data Repository. The CDR meets the definition of a specialized registry for Stage 2, which encompasses both registry reporting to public health agencies and clinical data registries. Opportunity. Participation in the CDR fully meets Measure 3 of this objective. Opportunity exists for future exports of clinical data extracted from summaries of care directly to the Department of Health. For more tips, please see the CMS tip. These are the screens you will see in EMIP under the Meaningful Use tab for Objective 10. Helpful hints. When excluding, don't use a zero in the denominator. Only use the exclusion button or field. Do not choose to exclude and choose no on compliance for the same measure or it will cause an error. For more helpful hints, please view the CMS tip sheets linked in this presentation. We will upload a copy of this presentation to our website so you can click on the links. Meaningful Use Audits 
Reminder, documentation to support attestation data for Stage 2 Meaningful Use Objectives and Clinical Quality Measures should be retained for six years post-attestation. EHR vendors must be able to produce accurate meaningful use reports for their clients. As needed, HCA could also supplement that information with data regarding a provider's CDR Support for Audits Objective 2 Data within the CDR can be used as one of the sources for clinical decision making. Screenshots from these tabs in the CDR can be taken. Problem List Medication List Medication Allergy List Demographics Laboratory Tests and Values and Results Vital Signs Objective 5 To Confirm Care Summary Received the provider organization can review their transaction logs, which document successful CCD submissions within the CDR. HCA can review a CDR report for that provider comparing claims submitted versus CCD submitted. The report is run by OHP. To confirm viewed via portal or query, HCA can review a CDR report by provider of how many CCD submitted and how many times their CCD were viewed. The report is run by OHP. Objective 7. The CDR is a data source for medication reconciliation. Screenshots from the medication tab in the CDR can be taken. Objective 10. The clinical data repository has been deemed by CMS as meeting the definition of a registry. HCA can review a CDR report by provider of how many CCDs submitted. The report is run by OHP. The provider organization can review their transaction logs which document successful CCD submissions. This presentation will be posted on our website at healthit.wa.gov under both resource pages so you can click on the links. Please subscribe to our mailing list to receive program updates, tips, and our monthly newsletter. There is a mailing list for CDR updates and one for EHR updates. Both lists receive the newsletter. For questions about this process, please email us at healthit at hca.wa.gov and put using the CDR to meet MU in the subject field. Thank you for listening to our presentation.